Baccarat bottles made in the early 1930s, which I was able to secure and use for the new Pierre de Molay Essence Rare. I hope you love it. Thank you for all your support, and I wish everyone watching a very happy year ahead. Hey, what's up, fragrance community? Uh, Raja, again, I can't thank you enough um, for that video here. Love to hear your thoughts on everything and how you created stuff. holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This is this was kind of my Christmas gift to myself. So very excited. So I should have actually had this kind of open by the time. Here are a bunch of the samples, which is pretty cool. They actually gave me um, all the, the Pierre, um, all those samples there. Hopefully, you can see those, which is pretty awesome. So thank you for that. Is the box. Another this one is oh, the Raja from the perfumery. So I got that one there. This one I think is Lock Me. So another these 7.5 atomizers are really, really nice. So I love those. Sucker. Very nice wrap because they put stickers and all this craziness on them, but all taped and everything. This is the Essence Rare. The valor. There's the beautiful box it comes in. Kind of got the little sticker things here. Gorgeous. I believe there are only eight of these bottles in the world. So just beautiful. Hopefully you can see that. Real nice. Let's see what it looks like. I was hoping it wouldn't do 
do that. But there it is, guys. Gorgeous. Hopefully you can see that nice. Beautiful bottle. This is actually from the 1930s, so very, very cool. And of course I picked number three of ten. Hopefully you guys can see that too. Just gorgeous. That is amazing. Hopefully you can see the number three there, but number three of ten. So there it is, guys. It sits beautifully in this steel there too, so just gorgeous. Of course. So Raja, can't thank you enough. This is awesome. So very excited. Hey, what's up, fragrance community? Rise Frags 34, another review for you. This one exclusive from Raja Dove, of course. As you guys know, really, really enjoy his fragrances. Uh, just so rich, uh, smooth, just excellent, excellent fragrances. This one is called e Essence Rare uh, from the Pierre de Valet line. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's exclusive to um, you know the perfumery for Raja Dove, the hot perfumery. Um, so getting on with the, the, the notes real quick so I can get into the uh, you know description of this. This one is just really, really nice. It's a warm, um, it's fruity, it's dry, it's very rich, just, just a beautiful, beautiful uh, fragrance and well, well blended. Um, you do get some nuances of, uh, of you know, what you've smelled before, but all together, this is really a truly a blend that's that, that really hasn't been out there and you really haven't smelled it before. So. Uh, but it's very easy to wear too. So getting on with the notes, you have blood orange, sweet orange, black currant, and raspberry for the top. So that opening is excellent. Uh, for the heart notes, you have jasmine, rose, and violet. And then the base notes, you have coriander, palmarosa, cedarwood, sandalwood, saffron, patchouli, vetiver, moss, labdanum, and musk. So guys, a lot going on with this one. Uh, when this first opens up, that first spray is, uh, I've been using little vials too. I'm gonna show you my uh, bottle uh, that I got. It's kind of a limited rare bottle. So I'm kind of gonna leave that alone and I'll get the regular bottle uh, that I can spray. But of course, I, I had four really nice samples and oh my gosh, I've, I wore this probably for the last three weeks just nonstop really to try and give you guys a good review in. But that first initial spray, you, you do get this really bright, dry, uh, crisp, like, a, like it's almost like a jasmine fruity kind of thing going on. It's, it's very sharp in the opening, uh, but then it kind of smoothens out a little bit. But it's very fruity, it's, it's very citrusy as well. And uh, again, you get that black currant, you get a lot of that really great um, fruitiness. It's like a citrusy fruity in that opening. Um, you get some of that orange in there as well. Uh, you start getting right away, probably within 45 minutes or so, you do get the patchouli. And it's not a chocolatey patchouli, it's more of like a green uh, leafy patchouli. Uh, it does warm, you know, it gets a little bit warmer though, and it, um, it sweetens up a little bit. Uh, it is just really, really nice. Uh, and then the base, you do get some of the vetiver in here. Uh, you, it, it gets a little bit mossy too, so the oak moss, uh, that's where it kind of turns into a little bit of a sheepra. Uh, well, it is a sheepra, you know, a fragrance, but it gets a little more sheep sheepra, uh, you know, towards, towards that dry down, but very warm. Um, it still remains dry and it's kind of linear actually. It doesn't do too much. It, it, like I said, you get a little bit more patchouli. It gets a little bit more green towards that dry down, a little bit more woody. Uh, you get some of the cedar wood in there, of course, as well too, uh, or cypress. I'm not sure which one he uses there, but it's, um, you know, it's just absolutely beautiful, but the, the, the fruitiness still stays with it. And that's what I really, really like about this one. Cause it's easy to wear. It's, um, it's rich. It's, uh, like I said, it's, 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 it's great for the office. It's great for kind of any time, you know, that's, it's very versatile. It could be almost a signature scent. It's nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm going to tell you guys though, it does pro project excellent. I mean, it's, it's a good couple lengths, you know, arm lengths long, very nice bubble. It, um, it, it'll literally, you know, uh, last the 10, 12 hours I'm going on after 11 hour day of work and I can still smell it. So, um, it, it does perform really, really well. Um, so guys, 
excellent uh, you know fragrance I just I just really love this one let's get into kind of to the presentation uh, thank you again Raja for uh, that video in, in the opening I can't thank you enough for just taking the time uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my uh, unboxing right there it took a while and um, you know to, to get that darn box unboxed but I like to you know it's exciting to watch the unboxings and everything so this one guys uh, if you want to get the regular bottle I think it's right around six hundred and eighty dollars the Baccarat bottle is thirteen eighty and I believe uh, there might be a couple left I'm not sure it's still on the website but there was only 10 bottles made now I did make a mistake and I said there was eight bottles for some reason I think the site said eight and it ended up being ten but let me show you the presentation in the bottle real quick um, the box is nothing too crazy special but it actually um, it'll you can actually th this wraps up the, uh, the the actual box which is nice because it is autographed uh, comes with a little bit of bubble bubble paper there, but then you also just have have this box, the outer box, which is Pierre de Valet. Hopefully, I say that right. I know it's kind of tricky. And then they got the sticker stickers right there, which is nice. So just a simple box, really, nothing too too crazy special there. And then uh, it'll slide in, but it does protect the actual box, the, the actual box that it carries the fragrance in, which I do like. So. Now this, guys, is just gorgeous. He did autograph the the box there, so hopefully you can see that. There it is. Really, really beautiful box. Of course, he doesn't cheapen out at all with the box. It's got the felt bottom as well, too. So just a beautiful, beautiful presentation and box for that. Then I'm going to be very, very careful with this, but of course this is the bottle here, but... It also has the Pierre de Valet right there. If we can see that in a really nice, um, uh, you know, layer to, to to put the box or put the put the bottle in, and it's it really stays in there sturdy too. So it's um, it's not going to bounce around or anything. But guys, if you know Guerlain, uh, it is just these bottles are are unbelievable. It's the Baccarat. I know they used a lot of these. Uh, back in like the the 30s and everything and this one guys is from the 1930s which is really really impressive but here it is I'll try and see that right there but just a really beautiful beautiful bottle and like I said I'm going to try and leave the juice in here as much as I can and kind of leave this sealed and get a regular bottle that I can spray and use but and this one of course I of course wanted to either get three or four but I got the number three out of ten I'm not sure if you can see that but there is a three out of ten. It is numbered, so which is pretty cool. But just look at that beautiful bottle. Uh, again, Baccarat from the 1930s. I don't know how he really got these, but you know that's Raja Dove for you. <laughs> but guys, I just really, really enjoy this fragrance, and um, you know, hopefully, you guys get a chance to smell it. But it is, it's really beautiful and it's, like I said, it's rich, it's, um, it's very invigorating too. It's, it's like you want to smell it, you want to keep kind of smelling it. You know, it's green, it's warm, it's fruity, it's citrusy, you have a lot of things kind of going on with this. And I get some of that patchouli, a little bit of oak moss in there, some vetiver, labanum, and uh, it's just really a, really a great, 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 um, great blended fragrance you know so and again easy to wear I'm sure you're gonna get some compliments on it as well so it's been tough with compliments lately because to be honest you know we're all wearing masks you know and, and things like that um, it is crazy that I didn't walk into one of my <laughs> gentlemen's offices that he's like wow someone's wearing cologne, cologne today and I'm like well the question is do you like it he goes yeah it smells good so uh, he did smell it even through the mask so this stuff is pretty pretty powerful and potent so but guys not to ramble on too much Essence Rare, love this one, and uh, Raja Dove, thank you so much for that video, and I just really loving your work that you do, so just keep up the good work, and really cool that you put out this limited bottle, and um, it's really nice, I'm so fortunate to have one in my collection, and I, I just love it, so, but guys, Rise Frags 34, thank you again so much for, um, you know, just all the support, uh, sorry I haven't been doing too many videos, but I'm going to try and start back up here again, and uh, I got a really lot of nice fragrances in my collection now too, um, kind of went on a little Christmas, uh, you know, gifts for myself. So, but uh, thank you guys so much again. Rise Frakes 34. Take care.